Police say they have uncovered a multi-state identity theft operation following one minor traffic stop. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes explains how that stop led police to an unexpected crime ring. Here near the Florissant Community Center is where police say they stopped a 22-year-old man with so many bizarre things in his car, it led officers to an even bigger discovery. He was trying to conceal his identity for what we now believe is, you know, that he was on a crime spree. The suspect's ID seemed fake, and then police say they noticed more. Miscellaneous type uh, IDs and, and, and checks that weren't, shouldn't have been in the vehicle. Um, and they went with it and uh, led him to a local hotel. The suspect from Florida said he was staying here, a motel on Dunn Road. When police arrived, they say they found three other potential suspects in two rooms, along with a large number of state ID cards, credit cards, and checks in the names of various people, none of which were the defendants. Seized inventory included 86 alleged fraudulent checks. We talked to one of the victims who did not want to be identified, but she told me her car was broken into in Wentzville, her ID stolen, and the next thing she knew, someone bought a car in her name in Nashville, Illinois. A lot of these uh, identities and, and uh, credit cards and checkbooks were stolen from vehicles. Makes me think a lot about like why I'm a park. Juan Jones thankful for the bust. It's crazy. I mean, you got people out here that's taking from people that work hard for their stuff. And I guess that's just the life we live in St. Louis, huh? Then another twist. Police also reported finding capsules in the motel rooms containing the fatal drug fentanyl. This is why we do this work. St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell charged four defendants with felony trafficking and stolen identities and three of them with felony drug possession. This could have resulted in lost lives. We know how dangerous fentanyl and some of these drugs are. When the red flags go off, typically there's not just one, there's more. So he followed that path and it was just good police work. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.